Link 2012. So I just realized that I had my audio off because I muted it for something. Meaning that you lost out on a lot of content that I was narrating. That's a bummer. <laughs> oh, I was just talking about spawners and how I try to do something unique with spawners. They're really easy to break, as you can tell. So I try to put the ladders around them when I want them to be a little bit trickier to break. Doing players a little bit of a challenge. Now one of the unintended one of the unintended consequences of utilizing the entire area of these high pixel maps is that sometimes they're close together. So you look up, and right now there's a big ceiling. So you don't have to worry about anything spawning above you. But as we get closer to the top, there will be lots of spawners going off at once. And that's simply because they're too close together. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, nuts. It's gonna come at me. Oh, there's an entire ledge that goes around. Interesting. So we're gonna bridge up to this guy. Although there might be a ladder over here. Nope. Oh. We actually have to bridge up. Very good, very good. But I did make it so you could go around here. Hmm. So this was intended. Where does it lead to, is the question. It just leads around. Interesting. This area was easy to clear out, which is nice. Of course, we're spawning stuff above us as we run around. Which is not so nice. Let's go ahead and check these furnaces. It's always important to check the furnaces, because you never know what I put in them. Oftentimes, I just put a little XP bottle. You know, you look, you deserve a little bit of something. Oh, we forgot more light. We need more light. That's what we need. I guess we should check chests for light. So I don't want to go back. And of course, there would be a diamond once in a while or something really nice. Because you put in the effort. Oh, interesting corners right there. Nice place to put a spawner if you want to be tricky. Okay, there's nothing up there. There might be something in this fridge. Oh, what does this say? Don't mess with the tables! Ah, uh, I messed with them. And they all broke. Nothing in that one. Alright. Nothing good in there. Ooh, lots of fish. So if we want fish, what, what does it say? Frozen salmon, frozen fish. Yeah, because they're all in the fridge. Little details like that I like to add in the map. Now that, that entire, now that the entire bottom portion is done, we can head up and explore a bit more of the top. This would be... This is risky coming up this way. Run through, lighting it all up. Probably wise. Because these rooms are going to spawn like crazy. Unless we can get them lit up. I remember when testing... I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that story when we reach the room. But as we can see, this fire spread a little bit while the game rules were adjusting. So it can still burn stuff up a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh boy. That knocked back though. Hit him at the wrong time. It can be deadly. Oh, nuts. Didn't block him. Right. Good. He's down. Right, let's block it off. No! They keep coming in. This is what I mean. They're spawning faster than we can kill them. Right. The way I think I want to deal with this is by getting up here and breaking through. This will allow us to block off the door, then kill them, 
then move on. Or just close the doors. I'm not sure if I made it so they could break down the doors. It would have been a smart thing to do. Make it a little bit more challenging. But no, I had the foresight to undo that. I remember changing... Yeah, so I remember changing all the doors in here. I wasn't sure if it was to make it so it would be easier for them to break through or harder. I think I made it so that they wouldn't break through. Okay, this is a nice chest that we'll get later. Ouch! Quit it. Get in my corner and give myself some water. Ah, yes. Sweet regiment regeneration in the water. Okay, so three up. That way they can't get to us. Right. And then we're going to break through this. Oh, nuts. They're onto us over here. So we're not going to be able to get through this room for a while. But we can break this, which is nice for us. And light it up a little bit. We could bolt into that room if we wanted to. Okay, I'm going to try to block it off. Right, it's blocked off, sort of. Yes, they all got lit on fire. So we can get through here now. Wonderful. Now this room's cleared. It's one more room down. Now that this is blocked off, we can get through here, which is nice. Yeah, so going back and forth to lure them from one side to the other. Good tactic. This is where the petition was originally. I'm not sure what's here now. You can check this chest. Is there anything special? Nope. Nothing really. Although we will grab that stuff later again. The mages originally alternated between their their uh, different armors too quickly, and I had to tone it down a little bit. Now, even now, I'd still argue that they alternate a bit too quickly. It's really difficult to make a mob like that. Oh, sweet. This is a, one of those Bane of Arthropod port swords, Bane of Arthropod 6. Ouch, yeah, and it looks like there's a lot of guys on the other side of this wall. Making it difficult for me. I'm pretty sure there's another holy book in here. Oof. With all these spiders, you could say it might be an unholy book. Ah! <laughs> no, not really. Um, spiders are discarding it. And I think that these ones are similar to the ones in the other mansion. Yeah, this is a mob that you see very briefly. It's a spiderling and a, a spider mother. You get the poison once you kill the little ones. Oh, look, there's a little secret right here. Yes, yeah, this is another secret way into this room. Because all these rooms are so close to each other. If you go into game mode 3, you just go from room to room. It's crazy. So you might as well utilize that and make a little fun out of it by connecting some rooms that weren't connected in the original map. Like that one. Oh, snap. Okay, so this room you have a lot of poison in. There are some antidotes that we can use now that we're pretty much uh, condemned to poison hood. Right. I just want to take down most of the spawners before we head out. Right, very good. All right, let's get out of here. Because I think that's all the spawners. Maybe there's one more that I forgot. Right, where can we get an antidote? Oh, it turns out that we had wait. We did go through the whole 30 seconds. It's interesting. Blocking does not prevent damage from a lot of things, including falling, lightning, potions. 
I originally thought that it did, and so whenever I ender pearl uh, back in the day, it would always block. And then I learned it didn't work at all. Or maybe it worked for a while. Oh, so this is the button you press for things. Okay. So you picked up another holy book. The holy Ranuk. Holy Quran. Right, and then there's a button. Does this contain anything is the question. Well, the button it plays a slowed down version of Ward. And it is not very universal. Okay. So I'm glad this area is done for. Move on to the next portion. Okay. All those places are conquered. Yeah. Yep. Fired. <laughs> okay. I wonder if they're still around this way. There are still a few around this way. Oh, so if you shoot them, they see you. I want to get them out. Where? How are they hitting me? Oh, interesting. I hope that that's not. There's not going to be a ton of them. It's just one little region where they can spawn. That's. I'm going to have to go through. Right, we can technically. Check out. We can probably get through here now. Okay. Nope, nope. This was a bad idea. As you can tell. Oh, and that's the zombies are taking down the store. So I guess they could take it down in the end. But I didn't give the uh, mages the property. Whenever I made a mob, I would go through and change all the properties to what I would want them to be. And how challenging I wanted them to be. And of course, relevancy. So here, you know, a zombie mage that could break down doors would be very, very powerful. Smiley face! So I'd, I like to add a little bit of red, redstone stuff. So if you came up here... You could have theoretically dropped a TNT down on them. Or you could have also shot an arrow. Either way would have worked. Oh, what? They're spawning from above. I know they can spawn in this room over here. We're gonna have to go take that down soon. Oh boy, look at all them. They've all got some. They've all got crazy effects. <laughs> all the particles going around. That was the fun. That was a really fun part, making the cosmetics for all the different mobs. Okay, yeah, we need to step back and regen by sitting in a pool of water. Mermaid Tears. I believe those are from Pirates of the Caribbean. One of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, they go through and they're trying to get Mermaid Tears because they're an ingredient for eternal life, if I remember right. Oh! Hey! You see, I probably missed a million chests like this. But here we go. Mermaid Tears. We do get a chest with Mermaid Tears in them. So let's go ahead and take an extra pair. Because we'll probably forget about this one looting. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so you need to be observant. Or else you won't you'll miss stuff like that. Okay, all the ladders are like broken in here, making it hard to get around. Ouch. Get out of here! Yeah. I'm pretty sure that the clock for the uh, lightning is not the same as the clock for their armor. Which makes it more difficult to predict, but at the same time, you don't have to worry about uh, 
always getting it on the same armor piece. So let's say if it, w it was on the uh, leather, you wouldn't have to worry about, oh no, I won't, I'll have to, you know, I'll be able to hit him, but then I'm gonna have to take some damage. You don't have to worry about making that decision. Then again, I could have just made it on, oh, what was it, silver. But I, I did spend a lot, most of these things were on separate clocks. I, uni I unified a lot of clocks later on. Um, because if you had things that were all happening after 10 seconds, then you could put them on the same clock and it would save a lot of redstone uh, processing power. Oh boy, this is, this is crazy. It's one of the things I had to redo a lot of the times, all the redstone clocks. So we did get this room down, down. Okay, we don't have any torches in here. Although it, this does lead up to the basement. Smiley face is half dead too, thanks to that. Oh boy, is there, okay, let me be serious here. If there is sulfur, let's go ahead and use it. Let's also, actually, no, here's the perfect idea. We have this, these flame wars. I mean, I remember all the flame wars on the forums. Used to ignite ideas. So as we saw in the previous section, they have significance with the ideas. In the forums, they could be so annoying. Like, you could have a great thread, and then all... Someone could start up a stupid war, uh, a, a stupid argument with someone, and that thread would end up getting locked because two people were being mean to each other. Oh boy. Yeah, so you, when you hit them, they give you blindness, so we're getting a lot of blindness spasms whenever we get close to them. But it looks like they don't want to die to the fire. So we're going to need to go find some, uh, some sulfur tips. Right here. Oh, great, they shot one of the explosive shots at me. Alright, well, this did not work out too well. And I guess the fire did do a lot of damage. I was worried that they had enough regeneration to keep them from dying of fire. But nope, they're dying. All dying quite well. Okay, we're out of here. We're gonna approach this from the other side. The nice thing about these big maps is that you don't have to stay on one. You don't have to keep pushing from one perspective. You can go around. Right, we do want some more strength, though. So that'll definitely help. It's only a matter of time, though, before they get back up here. Because they, just like we went, they have a way. They can take that same way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those dropped down. There was a tripwire. <laughs> I try to utilize everything, including tripwires. In this this sex in a in the map as a whole. Yeah, you can see there it was a trap. If you had gone, you might have gotten exploded. It's not the right way to say that, but <laughs> you would have exploded. Okay. No torches in there, so we're just gonna move on. Oh boy, that was actually kind of nice. I would have fallen down if it was any less knockback. Okay, get back over here. Oh great, now all the guys from over here. Oh, I was wrong. They couldn't get back over in the same manner. Oh, it, technically, yes, because the same manner. Because this is a manor. Mansion. Is there a difference between a manor and a mansion?
Probably. Right, probably nothing back here. Although, oh, never mind. There was something. Hey, and we got instant health. That's nice. So if you broke that, it would do some pistons. I mean, if you flip that, you got some pistons. I believe you need the light on. And then there's a secret in another room. Oh, never mind. That 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 is just this room. There's a bunch of uh, bunch of dispensers up there. I know there's one where there's a secret behind the bed. We've probably already gone through that room. No. Okay then. That's an enjoyable experience. Okay. These guys will hopefully push each other off the edge. Oh, nope. They are actually jumping up. Somehow. And there's someone behind me. That's probably what's causing me so much damage. Oh boy. And we're out of here. This place is going to get all destroyed if we're not careful. The bad thing about the uh, those books, though, is that they can go through walls. So... It will get to you in the end. Right, nice. Nice taken care of. Okay. Oh boy, is there no TNT over there? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Chest exploded. It all fell down. Just looks like that's P, which is nice. Ouch! Ah, get out of here. Alright. Wanna take care of this fella. I think it explodes some of the contents of the chest. That chest probably just had like one thing in it. One very valuable thing. And now it's gone. I see some XP bottles. It's most likely the extent of what was in it, for the most part. Alright. Some purple stained glass. Oh, that'll make a better building block, because there's 63 of those. Very strange. Why not a stack? Get out of here. Okay. Nice. And what's in here? Emerald! Yay! Let's go ahead and grab this. Throw away some books. This is... Oh, yes! Okay. All right. I have to explain this. Nate T. Bird. When Nate... When we... It, when, okay. So for a brief while, we brought the adventure lobby back. We had regenerated enough maps to where... Oh, no! I have to go get that now. Oh, we got it in midair. Uh, we were able to bring the lobby back. And Hypixel opened submissions for ma for everyone's maps. And Nate T. Bird had one of those maps. I believe his was... Um, what was his map? Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was an interesting crypt one with a custom resource pack. And... It was just really fun, really fun, really fun. So I decided to put him in the map because he was involved with that and he was involved with uh, the adventure lobby. And this is one of the adventure lobby things. And this is actually his head from that map and it gives you more health, speed, attack damage, a knockback resistance. This one might be better than the one we currently have right now, except for it doesn't have any of the enchants. Yeah, so you look at this, this has two attack damage, this has 20%. That's why this is so overpowered. Is because uh, it didn't have any actual armor. Okay, well, it looks like we're doing good. We have three of the four holy books. I mean, sorry, two of the three holy books. The other one's over on this side. It's that main area that's the most difficult to conquer, that one that we're currently working on. 
That method of going back and forth seems to work quite well, though. When I was testing it, I had sulfur tips on me, and this was before sulfur tips were extremely uh, picky about the arrows. So now they're much more likely to only activate your arrows. But in the past, they would activate skeleton arrows or just arrows sitting around. So there were a few arrows sitting around on the ground in one of the rooms. And I was in the room below, uh, right at, I can't remember if it was above or below it. I do remember it was this room, though. So I sitting in this room, and I pull out my bow, and I shoot an arrow, and then all of a sudden, I hear all these explosions. Because there were a ton of mobs next to me, in the room next to me, and the silver tip decided to activate all of them. I can't. I think it was a combination of that, several arrows sitting there, as well as skeleton shooting, um, and so just everything blew up, and that entire room was decimated. And at that point, I realized, hey, I probably should uh, change up the the sulfur tips a little bit. We have a secret chest up here that you might not notice. Except we did get it, which is nice. So let's go ahead and use Walter's potion. We do need some more strength too. And let's go ahead and get this crystal. A tasty golden apple. That's not that much actually, to be honest with you. Are these pants any good? I doubt it. Yeah, just projectile protection. And if we come over here, there's a lot of monster eggs. <laughs> for reasons. And if we come in here, it's an empty room. There's nothing in here. Like, it's just there. And if we come up here, there shouldn't be any chests. Yeah, so the focus is drawn to this chest right here, which is a super golden apple, if I remember right. Oh, that was in the other one, actually. Some light, which we will gladly take. And we're going to completely loot this later on. Some wolves, and a command block. And a skull. There's even a button here that is left for us to place and click. Almost figured it out. This person almost had it. Almost. But as you can see, they're dead. Almost had it. All right, I'm gonna grab that later. Head on up. This room is going to be a nightmare, I'll bet. I'm betting, I'm betting. So let's go around, let's light it all up. Good. We're actually doing really well. Hey, and here it is. The holy Albab. Or, holy Bible. Got it. Nice. So now, we have gotten all the books. And now is when we would normally get... Hey, here's how you can enter the crypt. Which was, it all made sense to me now. I have to break the glass with my fist. We have to break in with our fist and we'll be good. And that will be the final portion of this area. Holy smokes, I just realized how long this area is. Like, this one is, this one's good. And all these zombies are spawning thanks to us hitting these guys so many times. Right, they're gonna shoot at me anytime now. Right. Perfect. They're all down. XP bottles. I am full on XP bottles. Let's go ahead and get some more. Okay. This bit's done now. I can't wait to loot everything here. There's so much. 
I wonder if there's anything in here. Down below. I know there's a beacon in the original map. I think I removed it. Yeah. So, Etho must hate me. <laughs> so, one of the... Okay, another thing. I was talking about Etho earlier and how I used to watch him. I'm not sure if that was during the, the portion where my audio wasn't recording. But he would always fill everything in. He would always make sure to fill all the blocks in. Of places like this. But I decided, nope, I'm not gonna. And then I added that funny little thing. So, Sorry, Etho. But not filling it in. Oh, look at that. You smashed a storage crystal and... Oh no! It was a trap and everyone is intoxicated with poison for 15 seconds. Oh, I forgot there's a few of those that are negative effects. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this is some light, which is good for us. But at the same time, we have... 